Hey, how you doing? Woo! Woo! <laughs> so, my name is Richard Lockdown, and, um... Also uh, a first-timer? First-time first speaker. Time. Woo! First Woo! Time. Uh, not a professional by day, learning code at night, so... <laughs> Hope you guys like the talk. <laughs> Alright, so I'll be compu uh, comparing Vue.js and React.js. Um... I've been looking into frameworks a bit more recently, and looking online, there's there's so much biased articles and information out there, you know, which is better, which should you use? Uh, so I decided to kind of delve into it myself and do basic research into how they're similar, how they're different, and then I'll provide a few very basic syntax uh, examples. Uh, so let's get so what is Vue? It's a progressive JavaScript framework for building single-page applications. It's designed to be adoptable and easy to integrate with other libraries. You can just pop it right into your HTML file and um, you can integrate with other uh, parts of your setup. Hey Richard, mm -hmm. you know, I think if you hit present, it will go full screen. It's probably a good... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> good. <laughs> Vue was originally created by uh, Evan Yu. He was an ex-Google employee, and uh, it was released in 2014. He's quoted as saying, I figured, what if I could just extract the part that I really liked about Angular and build everything, uh, build something really lightweight without all the extra concepts involved. As we'll continue, you'll see that some of the uh, directives and templates it uses is from the original Angular. <coughs> So some similarities between React and Vue. Um, both utilize a virtual DOM. Both React and Vue have reactive components that offer the Vue layer only. Uh, both React and Vue can be dropped, in, well, dropped into a single HTML file or be modular in a more sophisticated Webpack setup. Uh, Vue has props and a Redux-like store similar to React. Uh, Vue has a separate but commonly used router with Vue Router and Vuex as its state management library. Those are both official from uh, the Vue team. What are some differences as we look into React in Vue? Uh, Vue has templates as a default using the mustache, mustache syntax that you'll, you'll put into your HTML file, uh, though it does support JSX. Uh, directives using the syntax v dash followed by an ID are used to add behavior to templates. The default method in Vue for styling is to use a scope style tag and a single file component. And, and Vue... The V yeah. dash should identify a behavior, and I'm sorry for interrupting. Is that like, sure. would it be like V on click? Would it be that Exactly, okay. that would be. Okay. It was gonna be an example. Sure. Uh, Vue has two-way binding instead of one-way binding. Templates in Vue, uh, the template syntax is HTML based and allows for declarative binding of the DOM to the underlying view data. Uh, Vue will then compile the templates to the virtual DOM and render functions. Um, templates can be created using ES5 and ES6 forward. And then within the uh, mustache brackets, we can't write statements, defining variables, or full on if statements, but we can write expressions, methods, and properties. So here's a basic template example. Um, here we have the our, our template syntax in that HTML file is hello. Um, in a single page application I would just have the JavaScript in the um, in the script tag. Script tag, yes, thank you. And so here we have const app new view, and then we're declaring the, uh, the message that we want for hello. Uh, directives in view. Directives can be added to templates to provide a, a bit more functionality. Uh, uh, event listeners, uh, <coughs> anything like uh, user inputs, and they'll be starting with the v dash as a prefix. Uh, view provides quite a few default directives, but you can, of course, create your own. And then here's a basic 
directive example. So here we have. So here we have the if, and I'm saying that it's true, and then over here I'm defining is true and my message hello. Would that like display the or hide the entire element? If it true? Uh, yes, it would. It would. Uh, if it wasn't true, hello Northwest Chicago JavaScript meetup would not would not show up. And if it's like old Angular, I'm guessing the uh, the entire element would render. Right? Yeah, it uh, it can break too. Um, here's a click event, which I've already clicked it. Um, here we have under the button element we have the v on directive, and, and then I have click. And I have that um, I have is true over in the JS, and then that's why um, down here. I had already screen captured it, but I clicked on the a greeting, and then that's when the message would appear. So by, by default, that's hidden. By default, it's hidden, and then I went through and clicked it. Again, very basic. And then here's the resources page, uh, view, uh, its documentation on its router and its, um, <coughs> on its view X state management. So. Awesome. <laughs> Any questions? So I have a question. So I'm, I haven't really looked at view, but from what I've read is it's kind of its claim to fame is you can just add it in, in incrementally. Yeah. Um, from from what little I've been able to do, that's that's exactly what's. What's been possible when I've done it? Uh, there's a, there's even like a C, CLI link is what you can put into your, your file, and you can uh, input that as well. Yeah, people love it for CLI. Is Vuex the only state management um, that's allowed in Vue, or can you use things like you know, the ones that are supported on React? I think you can use Redux. Again. Um, Again, you'd, you'd have to check the documentation out that all So in your comparing of it to with React, uh, yeah. did you settle on a preference at all? Um, <laughs> that is a really good question. Um, right now, um, in all honesty, I I found like two tutorials online where they're they're building the same project in Vue and React, and I'm halfway through. <coughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll know pretty soon as to which I like, which I like to use more. Um, they both seem to be coming at the same problems in, in a different way. Um, Vue definitely comes across more like it's 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 picking and choosing what it likes from all the other frameworks and cobbling it together. Yeah, but it That comes across more like it started out that way and. That they just never wanted to change. Quick question. Sure. So oh, I'll try to answer. <laughs> so what made you compare these two? What, what are you working with more? To what did you choose these two? To, to this um, honestly, Angular seemed a, a little more daunting to me. Um, React seemed like the stable like choice. It seems, you know, what and what I was finding more of that, that I could work with and. And courses I could work through, um, but then views also had quite a bit of uh, buzz, so I thought I'd check it out. Um, some of the, I guess, some of the ads for it, if you want to think of it that way, is that it's it's simple, it's it's easy to pick up. You can drop it right into your existing projects, and you can migrate what you have over. So but I was curious to to at least look at it and try it. Sure. Good question. Um, so, if you'd like back up one real quick. Sure. So, like, so you have that, like, you know, v dash on click or, or v dash yeah. if or whatever. Um, so, within the JS, ha have you messed around with essentially having that attribute value 
change dynamically based on its own elements, other attribute. So like like V dash on click and then you you click it right. Yeah. And then it either adds in or updates another attribute within there. Yeah. Um, like could you update the title tag? You know Something like that. Yeah, I think you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like like, yeah. like title you can, there. Yeah. Um, I think it would have to be it would have to be like you define that in the yeah you define it state over here the data object and then you would set that as the title tags data link and then you would update that when you click basically but I don't think there's a way to just update the other attribute directly without doing it through new state so yeah you pretty much have to at least yeah. at least what I've done thus far at home is uh, I've, I've input some like methods on the in my JavaScript. Mm -hmm. And then that's been able to kind of help update some of what I have over. Of course, if you were to have this as a view um, app, everything you could have is just a single page application. You would just define your JavaScript and script tags. Um, you would define your CSS and um, style tags, and you'd have it scoped. Hey Richard, you mentioned that they do support JSX. Yeah. So would that just exist inside somehow in the uh, like where you're declaring this new view class, or I mean, if you're not aware of how it works? Yeah. Sadly, I'm not aware of how it works. Okay. Um, it's it seems like they they want to push more like use the templates. That's the default, but it, they also say JSX is applicable. <coughs> but it was harder to find how to do that. No, you have ten, ten minutes. You, ten, you, have, uh, you have five minutes of questions to put up with. <laughs> 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 have, you, have you messed around with the .v files? The uh, way of doing it, where you have like the template tag, the script tag, and the style tag on one .v file? I have a little bit. Yeah, um, they weren't as impressive, and I, in all honesty, didn't feel comfortable coding live in front of everyone. So I just took the quick screen, uh, screenshots of the gotcha. code pen. So, yeah. I so uh, <laughs> View Sports JSX, which is interesting. I don't. Sure. I'm just wondering if you came across this in your travels. I don't know that you know this, but or maybe anybody knows this. But I find it interesting that View Sports JSX, because JSX in React, right? I wish we had someone who knew React really well and did videos on it. But React, React basically. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I always point out Joe for some reason. So JSX is basically syntactic sugar for some actual functions behind the scenes before it ends up turning into DOM. So yeah. I, do you have you come across this, or does anybody know how Vue? I wouldn't imagine Vue is doing React create element. What what is what would no, Vue you don't need that. I mean, Preact <coughs> doesn't use React create element, and uh, mm. uh, there's a few of them out there. I mean, uh, JSX exists outside of React. Mm. React is. Uh, Telling JSX, here's what creates elements, and it's React that create element. But in Preact, it's something else. And then mm. anybody's, uh, uh, you can just change it. Like I don't know if you remember way back when you used to have to actually put the little pragma at the top of the of every React file to tell it to use React that create element. Oh really? Um, and I think you do that today with Preact, and I think Inferno had their own. Oh yeah. So JSX is technically a, a separate technology. It's actually ES4 is what JSX is. It's just nobody ever actually bought into it, so it never, you know, got. Uh, that's what it is. Go look. It was called ESX, <laughs> but it was ES4. That's why there's no ES4. It's JSX. Now they just started. Yeah. <laughs> is it an H oh. in Preact? It's H. What's that? Is it an H in Preact? Yeah, it is. Everything is, it is. H dot whatever. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Richard.